we're going to recreate ChatGPT. We're going to train it on data that is unique, our likes when it comes to toys, and then it's going to give us an idea for the perfect toy. Now we have to get started on building it. Well, we've got two 4090s, one there, one there. We have to put this pump in for water. So it's gonna put the, the water in. And then we, of course, have to put in a monster, a monster power supply. So we've got a 1650 watt power supply. Look at that. You wanna get started? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Before we uh, try to water cool it, we gotta make sure it's working before we take all of the stuff off. Um, so we're going to replace the 4090 that's in there with this 4090. So let's go ahead and let's open this first. All right. It's so satisfying. <laughs> to unbox a brand new toy. Although this isn't a toy. All right, here we go. We're going to open it up. And then we're going to remove the old 4090. All right. All right, what does this look like? We've got, that's the thing that attaches to the power supply. And the shield. And then we've got a riser here, but we're not going to need that, I don't think, once it's water cooled. Let's open this guy up, take a look. Oh, look at that beast, Ethan. Huh? Yeah. What we're going to do now, yeah. I took some time to remove, and then now we have to, because we need to test this guy to make sure before, before we start removing all the fans and everything, because mm -hmm. we're going to take up all the heat sinks and the fans, and then we're going to put a different water-cooled system on there. So we have to put this in now, and then we're just going to test it really quick. All right, you see how we do this? See how I'm plugging this in? I've got to get it in that slot. So I had to take these memory modules out and we're gonna to have to put those back in now to test this. And then I have a monitor over here. We have uh, successfully installed the new video card just to make sure that it's yep. working. Right now, just to show that the 4090 is running, we've got it in, we've got the this computer in a game that uses DLSS so it's taking advantage of some of the features of the 4090 so the 40 series now that we're we verified that the video card works yeah. we're going to take it out and now we're going to water cool both of them all right yeah let's move on to the water cooling huh yeah okay these we've got two of these now this is is the water block the water block comes in here and it fits into this little cylinder it's got some other attachments so that it can be like this it can be attached here wow. or there so here we'll look at that so these are the various configurations see how it fits in there yeah there's another option it can actually fit on the radiator yeah or it can go on the fan but we have to figure out looking at the inside of this how we're going to configure it so everything flows just right so let's open up this radiator and see what we've got all right let's take a look at what the radiator That's looks the like water no. no this is the radiator radiator and we have to figure out a how this is one of the radiators the how we're going is to, to finish a blue a full blue top yeah. Without making a face. Okay, that's a that's a pretty good challenge. But an even better challenge is to finish our challenge of using our super yes. cluster of machines to do AI and recreate ChatGPT and make our own. To make it into a toy, I'll be right back. All right. So this will go here. And then we can fit. All right. Okay, well, when my son comes back, that's what we're going to do. We're going to figure out how everything fits together in here, get everything water cooled so we can move on to the next step. 
All right, so we've got this. We're unboxing our XG7 RGB, and I so that's what it's going to look like at the end, and the parts that are in there. So when we open this up, looks like that. Yeah. So that's the top, and then it has that thermal paste, all these thermal pads, and there's some plastic covering that. And we might actually have to put some more on there because when I take when I take the plates off there, there's quite a bit more thermal paste going on. But here, I'll show you. When we take that out, there's a back plate that has a little bit more, well, no. Agarami. Why did it start over, Dad? Because it, it did drain to the rest of the system down there. But why isn't it? Because we haven't turned the pump on yet. Hold on, slow, slow. Yeah. Hello. So we today, have Dad's finally showing me what that looks like. Yeah. Drived. No, this. No. So we've successfully what? water cooled. Okay, we've yeah. connected the power, yes. and we're going to turn it on, and we're going to see it running for the first time. I think. It's All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Why don't you press the button? There's a button up top here. Here. I'll let you gum up here. And press that button up there. Wait, oh, the black one? Yep, press that black button. All right, look at that. Oh, <laughs> cool. We got that so pump now. going. And see how it slows back down? So the pump will pump that doesn't the water through continuously, but that's, so that's what, it's what it looks like. That's what it's supposed to look like, Just where you can see the dial rather than it spinning so fast you can't even see it. Look at this now. If, so we can change the modes of the lights, and if I change, we can change the color. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, that, I like blue. Oh, I, you, I like well, green. that was green. Green. You green. liked green? Okay, we'll yeah, go to green. green. So we downloaded 3D Mark instead because I don't know how to work Cinebench for running a test against the GPU. Hello. Do you have anything, are you excited to get on to installing OpenShift? Yeah. So we can actually do some AI? <laughs> Well, first, before we do that, I wanted to show everyone. So we actually do the Speedway test, and then we'll look at some results of the Port Royal as well. All right, here's our score. All right, before we, before we look at score? the results. Is it good? Well, we'll find out once we do the comparison, but we're going to look at, okay, so we had an average temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. That's a little higher than I've been seeing. It's been like 57 degrees Celsius when we do a, a test like this on the GPU-1. The other GPU is still at 37 degrees Celsius because it's not being used. And the Threadripper Pro 3975WX, 32 cores. If I brought up the hardware spy, it would show that it, it hovers around 64 degrees Celsius. Well, actually it can go up to 77 degrees Celsius. All right, let's look at our comparison online results. I should teach my friends that. Oh boy. All right, so we are 86%, we're better than 86% of all results. Sometimes we get up to 93%, better than 93%, but we're still better than a high-end gaming PC for 2023 by quite a large margin. But again, we're only using the 14090. We could load in some other results too. We got better than 92% on the A Port people? Royal. Because we have access to some really powerful, we have our dual water-cooled 4090 now, combined with some other computers, 
to, to run OpenShift, which gives us quite a few tools that allow us to do AI in an efficient way. And we've installed OpenShift Data Science, but we could do model serving, we can do data science pipelines with Red Hat OpenShift Data Science. Really easy to get this installed once you have OpenShift installed. There's a whole bunch of resources that will train you up on do it, doing OpenShift or doing AI in general. But let's take a look at just, we want to just quickly show what we've done and what we've accomplished so far. We have access now to an environment that has two 4090s. We can assign two 4090s to our PyTorch Jupyter Notebook and start that up. So let's start it up really quick. And do you know what a Jupyter Notebook is? No. So it allows us to just write some Python code and run it and get access to all of these AI type things in a more Python. informal way that we can just kind of like writing in a notebook. We can do a whole bunch of AI without it being uh, an application yet. And then when we're ready, OpenShift makes it easy to turn it into an application, but it also gives us the tools to just get everything figured out up front. So let's open up our new Jupyter Notebook in a new tab. And then I'm gonna oh, run, I'm, I'm gonna run some code here. Remember what Python is? It's a type of language that it's allows It's something us, about Python. Yeah, it's not actually snakes. It's just uh, the name of the language that is easier to do artificial intelligence and data science in because all yes. the data scientists have been That's doing... That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. So this little bit of code, this little bit of Python code, allows us to see that this Jupyter Notebook has access to the 4090s that we put in and water-cooled in our machine. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So now let's take it to the next step. And when I went to, remember when I went to KubeCon in yes. Chicago? So they talked about this, uh, people from Hugging Face were actually there and they talked about- Hugging Face? Yeah, that's the name of the company that <laughs> creates these open source LLM models. For that code previously, so it tells the computer what to do, where that code previously told well, us how many installing. GPUs were in there. What this code does, and the wow. packages that I installed are supporting Hugging Face software. It's, hugging face is this is going to go and grab the Hugging Face H4 Zephyr 7 billion alpha model, and that model is the thing that's been trained and we're going to retrain it eventually on our and give it some extra data that it doesn't already have and make it more specific to the challenges that we, we have. What it says here is you're a friendly chatbot who always responds in the style of a pirate. Oh, so. And then we're gonna ask it again, right? How? Can we ask it something else? Yeah, what do you wanna ask it? How do you take care of salamanders? How do you take care of salam salamanders? It's also been trained on a decent amount of information. Wait, can we um, ask it to do it in the way of a, uh, a zombie? Yeah, maybe. Or a dog. Okay, we'll, we'll <laughs> ask it to say something in the style of a dog after this. So here it says, Ahoy there me hearty matey. To take care of salamanders, you must provide them with a suitable habitat with proper humidity. So it, you know, it, you can read this and it actually comes up with a decent response. So now you want it to sound like a pirate or a, a, a dog? Yeah. Okay. Let's take this and copy this here. Oh. But how to take care of a salamander? Because we didn't even... So we're going to do... You are a friendly chatbot who always responds in the style of a dog. And then how do you take care of sal salamanders? Same question? Yes. Okay. All right, what did it say? I'd be happy to help you with that. Provide an appropriate habitat. Salamanders need a moist environment with plenty of hiding it's places. Why is talking like a dog? I know, it's not. Well, apparently it has not been trained to talk like a dog. But we could potentially retrain it to talk like a dog. That's the thing, right? That's what we have the ability to do now with our dual 4090s. We could retrain it in a meaningful way I to do whatever it was we want. Be like, woof, 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 woof. Well, 
<clears throat> maybe that'll be a, a challenge for a future time. But hey, we've got some pretty cool software, pretty cool hardware at our disposal yeah. now, don't we? All right, good job. Yes! Boom. <laughs> well, subscribe, right? They should mm -hmm. subscribe next time mm, like. so that, and like, so that we can show you all kinds of cool AI challenges that we're going to accomplish with our new machine that took us a decent amount to get together, right? Yeah. You did a good job. All right, thank you. Say, say thanks for bye joining. Bye-bye. <laughs>